News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as usual from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And uh, on this wonderful morning, uh, amidst uh, so much of controversy, sackings and removal from boards and so on, we've got the former chairman of the National Lotteries Board and uh, former member of parliament and many former things. Uh, but joining us on our set and happy to be here, I, I suppose, is Mr. Kesara Kunsekra. Very good morning to you, Mr. Very good morning. Very good morning for us. And um, is it indeed very good morning? We have Mr. Faisal Mustafa who has accepted this um, report, report that he's been waiting for ever and a day. Yes. And so, no doubt, uh, elections must be around the corner. Yeah. Now, he dissolved your, uh, your Dave and Mount Union business as well, didn't he? Yes. So, who's running these councils in the meantime? The commissioners and the secretaries. Oh, I see. Do you think they're doing a better job than the people they've been, uh, who've been suspended? In, in fairness to them, I must say that I've got reports from certain governors to say that uh, certain councils are doing well. Right. Which, which may be true. I see. Good. But um, as a former chairman of the Lotteries Board, can you throw some light? Why is all this consternation? Uh, what, what's going on? They, we, eventually we've had the president step in, but, but what's the problem? No, it's, it's fundamentally very unfortunate, I would say. Of course, uh, we have to understand that the uh, government needs uh, revenue and uh, they are practically raking up everything that is available. Mm -hmm. On that, In that backdrop, what the government did was to slap a 5 rupee tax on, 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 the, on the lottery, provided it was going to be increased to 30 rupees. Mm -hmm. So it's, tw it's what, 20 rupees now, is it? It's 20 rupees now. So if they were going to raise increase it to 30 rupees, 5 would go five to... Direct upfront tax, which goes to the... Uh, Consolidated uh, fund? fund. Right. Now the question this is this, very simple. Whoever who did this study yeah. has made a fundamental mistake. Right. Because uh, the lottery is all percentages right. of pay. Whether it is the price payout or the agency commission, etc. It's a percentage. Right. And if you take five rupees off up front, mm. then the equation goes for a six. Right. Then you realize that the agency commission suffers, the price payout suffers. Do I uh, see. So when both those suffer, on the one hand, people lose confidence in the lottery. The lottery sellers are up in arms because their uh, income drops. Very simple. So when it was 20 rupees, how much does a seller get? It's it's uh, 17... 17.50 percent. Right. Yeah. Right. And and so so it could have been so you get seventeen fifty from twenty rupees. So roughly around three three odd. 50. Three odd, yeah. So that could have gone down. That's what you said. No. There, there should have there should have been a one one half increase if it if the lottery was uh, value was going up to ah, thirty. But it was but that half that that increase did not come to the uh, Lottery agents. I see. So you can't are, blame the NLB. No. I I must be very fair. You can't blame them the NLB because they have to work with their revenue. And if their revenue drops with, as a result of a slap of a five rupee tax, mm. then they must uh, change or the uh, the whole equation changes. But um, you say you can't blame them. Who sets the prices then? No. He, he, this is a decision by the by the by the cab, by the treasury. Oh, I see. So somebody who did the study yeah. may have given uh, a, a technically incorrect report to the minister or the treasury secretary on which basis do, they do we have any idea who this could have been? I don't know, I don't know. We don't know. Royalist? Somebody somebody has to go into this matter. A royalist? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Don't know if he's part of this club. Which club? Oh, there are all sorts of clubs. There Flowered clubs, clubs, this club, that club, flowery <laughs> club, I don't know. You know, footnote club. There's a footnote club, Cope. Yeah? Very exclusive clubs, these. Yeah. And, you know, uh, no, I, I say that uh, almost in jest, but with all seriousness, because if you are, uh, if you are a friend of somebody or other, uh, then you have better chances of uh, getting in um, 
and getting a plum job. Uh, I'll never understand why uh, a member of the European Parliament is appointed to the board of one of our national airlines. Um, you know, what is it for? Is it to, to give somebody some fringe benefits at the expense of the people? In, in that respect, I don't know, for us whether he had any uh, experience in that field. I don't well, know indeed. how much. That, that, that particular person had. Um, he has a background in aeronautical engineering, right. uh, played a role in the setting up of, uh, uh, of opening up Britain's skies and so on. Right. But therefore, it would have been better, made better sense if he was appointed to the board of Sri Lankan Airlines and not Main Lanka, which now, of course, is no more. Yeah. But I wonder what happened. We need to investigate, and uh, perhaps our research people, our fact-checking people will check to see what happened to the directors of Main Lanka, whether they were Correct. absorbed into Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan Airlines. Airlines yeah. uh, that's a story waiting to happen, and maybe one of our newspapers will report that. But anyway, so on, on the lottery, so that, that is what this consternation was Correct. all about, is it? And reverting back to the uh, 20 rupees would have, was the best decision, I think. So the, the president has had to step in. Yeah, I don't, it's technically, yes, not just to ensure yeah. that uh, we, we study this further. So it's a good and job we have a president, isn't it? No, the question is this. I, I feel that uh, uh, in a situation of this nature, everybody needs to understand that whenever they make changes, if it affects the revenue of the, of the poor class, yeah. then, then, then in that case, uh, the income of the poor class, then in that case, serious thought must be given to it yes. before, uh, uh, before making any decision. I think in that respect uh, we have uh, failed. We have not looked into that aspect. Right. Um, it, it, that, that's very tragic. Because if, if, if I feel that uh, that should have been looked into before the decision was taken. So there's a lot of things go, going on that are not really thought out. Um, well, but why? But it's like the uh, uh, the headline news uh, this morning, I suppose on. Um, uh, well, the lotteries make almost headlines at the Daily Mirror, but in the island, it's all about the mega coal controversy. The Lanka coal chairman who blew the whistle is being sacked. Um, is it surprising that you can't find good people to, to run um, state institutions? Because they may not want uh, uh, all these uh, controversies following them because they are not willing to play ball? No, the question is this. Uh, fundamentally, I, I, I feel that any government needs to understand that they need to appoint quality people to top posts. And if they do not do that, and if they're trying to appoint their friends and uh, chums, etc., that's not going to help the country at all. Right. So you need the correct person to take over. Whether he has... Uh, Affiliations to the UNP, SLFP, or JVP is immaterial. As long as he's qualified to do the job and he can take over the entire responsibility, then in that case he must be appointed. So, my question is Maitri Gunaratna yeah. was appointed. Yeah. He would have had all the hallmarks. Yeah. And I fundamentally feel he had. As to what has gone wrong is the question. He, if, if, a chairman, if a chairman comes out yeah. and says that certain things are wrong, I don't think it is it is uh, incumbent on whoever the secretary or whoever it is to sack that man. First of all, go into the matter and find out whether there is any truth in that. If that is not the case, then in that case we can remove him. But here, um, Mr. Gunasekra, we here in this particular instance, we have the Supreme Court of this country, yeah. who's uh, said that the, their conscience was shocked. <coughs> Sorry, because of the. Uh, because of the, the complete breach of rules. So, the, it is not merely uh, some opinion of the chairman yeah. and maybe his board, but also uh, the view, the considered view, dare we say, um, of the Supreme Court of the country. And who gave, uh, who, who was shocked because this particular company had sent a letter in to, to the committee studying the tender process that is that can be construed as tantamount to uh, uh, lobbying, mm. which is against the the most basic rules of, uh, of a tender procedure. Ethics. 
basic ethics. Indeed. Yes. So, on top of that, then you, know, you have apparently we uh, it has been sent to the Attorney General, who has expressed a view that it there may be uh, a, p a potential claim for uh, damages. damages. But my my question is, how can you have that when uh, the, the 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 beginning has been flawed? If the beginning has been flawed, they it can't be put right. It's bad in law, and that's it. So how on earth can perhaps they point? They ought to have pointed that out too to the cabinet and said that this is one opinion, but this is the opinion of the Supreme Court. And instead, there seems to have been a concerted effort to uh, uh, to raid the treasury once more. And. We have uh, senior officials um, playing around with the people's money. Mm. Bad That's news. Wrong. That's bad news. Definitely bad news. No, in this in, in this instance, um, I feel that the the Supreme Court also, if they had worded it uh, in a in a manner where they had to revert back or or abolish the contract, it would have been better. But the but the Supreme Court also did not say that. Technically, in, not in those words. Yes, but did they it said, say may? They are, yeah, yeah. And um, they use. They, yeah, use but the I word mean, may. there could be a variety of reasons. I, I, Correct. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to get into trouble for uh, for doing this, but I'm not. I'm not discussing. I'm just uh, giving a, a viewpoint uh, that when they use that word may, it could have been for a um, for a specific purpose. For example. The Supreme Court may not have been uh, fully uh, uh, in possession of all the uh, of all the facts. In case if it is cancelled, then but what they, happens to the what would be the fallout? What yeah. would be the fallout, for example? And so, therefore, they gave the company that knows uh, knows about that sort of thing okay. uh, a bit of leeway. So you may, and you know, so that could be one. Uh, one explanation, I suppose there are others. Correct. But um, it's astonishing that even the the, the secretary uh, to the ministry didn't recommend uh, that they go back to the Supreme Court and ask for clarification. Correct. That I'm sure that, that was also a mistake by the secretary. Yes, they ought to have done that. Because you should have realized, number one, that the Supreme Court specifically said they were shocked. Indeed. Now that 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 word alone is more than enough. Yes, they should have. Should have sent the fear of God into him. Instead of that, he's uh, acted on. This is taken off on some solo uh, adventure, which now turns out to be a misadventure. And it's not only out of his pocket, but out of the pocket of everybody in this country. Correct. Uh, so you know, absolutely awful. The thing is, uh, in this country, we 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 seem to be having problems with regard to mega contracts and projects. This is, uh, I feel, uh, the biggest bane because uh, money is there in a big way, and therefore, so many, uh, so many things can uh, can uh, take place as a result of money. And this is uh, very unfortunate, I would say. Sacking uh, uh, the board is not going to be the answer. But isn't this all this, uh, uh, Mr. Gunasekhar, all down? to the fact that there appears to be uh, a very strong old boy network and a lack of um, professionalism when it comes to running uh, affairs of state. Lack of, lack of professionalism, I agree. Right, but okay. You, you're not agreeing with me, are you? About the, I, the also strong old boy network? <laughs> Let me tell you then. Chairman Sri Lankan Airlines, he's got many friends. One of his friends is obviously the Prime Minister. Uh, the former governor of the Central Bank, Arjuna Mahendran. Need I say more? Ministers, Malik Samaravikrama, Sagala Ratnaika, Akhila Viraj Karyavasan, holding important portfolios. But, you know, back at St. Thomas's, they taught you about these things. Highest common denominator, lowest common denominator, and all that business. There's one common denominator in all these names I've just mentioned. 
far as infernas I must say uh, you, you, you I'm not have saying a... anything about these people yeah the but all is... I'm, uh, the, the, the subject is that it is a um, we're talking about the common denominators here uh, I mean I'm sure Lee Kuan Yew had many many friends uh, that's what I was going to say I mean you can have friends you can have friends but I think you need to leave them in separate cupboards yeah um, you, you need professionalism. Some people know how to sell a cup of coffee or two, but they may not know how to run an airline. No, the question is this. I, I feel that uh, when you appoint people, you must appoint the correct person. As, at the same time, maybe, maybe to some degree you think a trusted person would be, would be the best choice. I don't see anything wrong in that as long as the person is capable. That's true. That shouldn't be a... Uh, just because you're a friend, it doesn't mean that it should be a, a detrimental thing. But, uh, you know, um, in the former government, in, uh, <coughs> sorry, in uh, MR's government, um, this was taken to an altogether different stratosphere. Um, you had people all over the place and in, in the foreign office and so on. Um, and so they were everywhere. But then it's a large family. Uh, but again, that doesn't, that's not the criteria. They had their tentacles all over. They had their tentacles all over. It doesn't mean that these tentacles in this government is... Um, but, you know, you, you look at it um, in... Uh, you look at this company, this group. Whether you like it or not, it is one of uh, uh, the bigger group, privately held groups in, in the country. Um, they are not. They don't appoint just friends. And those people who work for the group, uh, they know what they're doing. They may be friends, but that, that's a different thing. Uh, they they all know what they're doing. And if they're not, they'll to be shown the door. You know, the same one they came in through. Um, but the question: When it comes to governance, you need to understand friendship must be put aside because you can you can choose a friend that's that's not an issue because if he's if he's trusted and if he's capable you can always choose him but the friendship must be put aside that is important I think you need to be uh, big enough to keep your friendship aside and to be professional in your approach especially when you've been appointed by the people the people the people are I, I believe there's a profound disappointment in, in, the, in the last two years, especially in the last year, because the first year there was, there was hope and so on, and various things happened. But I, think, I believe that there is a profound disappointment on the part of the people, uh, because they, they, they in several uh, places, don't you feel they've been left, let down? What's your view on that? You're a former parliamentarian. Well, well for us, uh, I'll answer that question in this manner. I fundamentally feel that we need to protect this government. We need to protect the president. We need to protect the prime minister for different reasons, for several reasons. Why? Number one, I think that this this needs, this system needs to work in this country because it's the first time that the people from two major parties have come together and formed the government. It has never ever happened in the past. It's something new. It's not going to be that easy. What has happened in the present context is because it's not something that has anybody has experienced, we are having teething problems. Now, the teething problems are maybe moving on and uh, galloping into a state of galloping uh, issues. So as to whether we can control this, I feel yes. The president and the prime minister needs to understand that they need to control everybody in their group. If they don't do that, if ministers start attacking each other, you have a serious problem. That should not happen. Because I feel the people must be given the impression, look here, this is, this is the system of governance that this country needs, not anything else. Get people from all parties to come together, form an alliance and run a country. You do what is right, that's all. If, you, if that doesn't happen, then in that case, it's, there is a serious problem. I'll, I'll just mention one thing. Now, there are so many people who, say, who talk about this uh, Ceylon Bank deal, which was uh, cancelled, swift action, and uh, was cancelled. 
Now they are questioning as to why this decision was not taken with regard to the bond scam. Absolutely. That's, I, I, that's I have a viewer that's who's asking us not. about uh, uh, to, uh, for us to go into the comparison of the bond scam and the coal scam. Uh, for two years, no tangible action, it says here, on the bond issue. But immediate action in the case of Maitri uh, Guratna. So where's the professionalism there then? Where's the transparency? Where's the commitment? That's what I said. You know, if somebody, we say assume that you want to uh, discontinue a board of directors, there must be something substance on paper to show Look at the, we are taking the decision because of these reasons. And if no reasons are assigned yeah. and no report is available, then I feel that you are doing injustice to them because they are respectable people. You can't just uh, point people and suck them. You That's see, wrong. You see, uh, Mr. Ginsburg, how can we possibly protect this Prime Minister when it is this Prime Minister who came to Parliament utterly unprompted and declared to Parliament that it was he who ordered a change of the system in the way the bonds were being uh, sold or marketed or given out or whatever. It was him. This is the Prime Minister who is serving his fourth term as Prime Minister of this country and arguably the most seasoned politician in this Parliament. And he comes in there. Was he not aware of the um, of the monetary law act and what it says because the central bank is run through the provisions contained in the monetary law, law act. act and it is the monetary board who will dis, uh, who will run the central bank the chairman of that monetary board is the governor of the central, central bank. bank right so you can't have the minister in charge of the subject of the central bank um, in this case, uh, Mr. Wickmersinger, you can't have him. He, you can. He can say what he likes. But the governor shouldn't take the blindest bit of notice until he goes to the monetary board, discusses it and gets consensus there. And he can then put it into place. And all we've had is delay and delay and delay and deliberate delays. We had a three-member committee. We had, And even they wanted certain uh, negotiations going on because their remit didn't permit them to do, they didn't have a full remit. It was all fixed. It was almost as though Arjun and there was nobody who would come close, could be a patch on Arjun and It was almost like that. Um, so in, in those circumstances, I don't think anybody in their right, in their right mind can protect the Prime Minister. We didn't ask him to come and tell us these things in Parliament. He said it on his own. Maybe he would have been advised by his financial advisors. Yeah, right. I mean, we, we do not know that. No, of course we don't know. So if he was advised... He's had two he, years to... He, to almost he has every right to come and tell the Parliament Indeed, yes. as to what he felt. But he gave the impression, he put his hands in his pockets and he did it like that and he said, does anybody know about bonds? Really? I mean, you know, we could play the clip again and again and again, but what's the point? So he did give me, at least as a viewer, he gave me the impression that he knew. So if he knew, why did he ask them to do this uh, drastic change, or whatever, supposed change, which no less a person than the Auditor General of the country says it is a loss. On that particular day, on that moment, he's calculated with facts and figures and no speculation, he's calculated and quantified it. And uh, a report, not one but two lots of coal. And now they're saying they're going to debate it in, in Parliament. Parliament. But in the meantime, they've sent it to the AG. How can you do that? You're your former parliamentarian. The, it doesn't enjoy the sanction of Parliament because they haven't debated it. But they have still not debated it. That's right, but they've sent it off to the AG. Is that just to keep the people thinking that something is being done? I know he would have had his own reasons as to why he sent it to the Attorney General. Yeah, to gain time is, is one cynical view. 
No, the question is this. We, we need to understand that there are, as I said, there are teething problems. So we need to somehow just smoothen out these problems and then move forward. I, I, I totally agree with you. If you do but not... We, they, we, we need to recover the money. Yeah, we need to recover the money. That is that's fundamental. I have maintained that right throughout. We need to recover the money. Indeed. That's, that's, that's important. Because you've you got to understand, you cannot allow somebody to play out the country. Huh? You cannot allow, permit somebody to play out the country and get away scot-free. No, we need to pull, we, we need to get the money back. That is something that has to be done. Um, <clears throat> some view, I mean, there's so many different um, uh, uh, views coming in, uh, including one person who says, uh, we hope that you don't cause the downfall of Kesaralal Gunasekra too. I don't know what he means, or he, she, because it's just a number. Um, but there's nothing to be removed from, is there? No, I mean... Uh, the you're, not is, the, you're not in the municipality? No, 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 right. no, no. Okay. So I'm not in the municipality. So you're not holding any government office? Which no, no, no. Some secretary is going to remove you, because no, you've no. turned up on the show. Anybody can remove me from any post, I, I don't... I, it doesn't matter right. to me. As far as I'm concerned, I, I feel that I've been trained in that manner for us, I think I should tell the public also. When I was working for, me, for Mr. Atratma, he's a person who always tolerated opposing views. Huh? Right. Because he realized that if people don't come with opposing views, you're not going to get the best solution to a problem. And as a result, we were trained in that manner to oppose anybody as long as you felt what you're saying is right. right. Whether it is the minister or the prime minister or the president. We can. But of course, he, he, in diplomatically, it has to be done, yeah. not to fight out with the people. And if that, if that training, with that training, I'm prepared to come out and talk, that's not an issue. But I still feel that this government needs to be protected. Because I, we, I, I see so many other things that are in the horizon. I, I, I don't think that I support all those. I feel that this government needs to be given a chance. The given a chance year term, every day six for year, to six year term. Really, every day to to continue. I corruption. did not say. I did not say. I did not say that. Yeah, I, you said, you're I said. I said you are right. You have every right yeah. to look into various deals. We have to hold them accountable, and exactly. then nothing, nothing, and nobody is going to stop that. I'm on that as well. I'm yeah. on that as well. I'm with you on that as well. Uh, but that doesn't. Uh, that isn't. That shouldn't be misconstrued as being supporting of prime minister. It means that we are upholding traditional values. Correct. And something that this government promised us to do. Yeah. They promised us good governance. That's right. They promised us a return to a level playing field yeah. for <clears throat> everybody. And it is not happening. In, in my view, for us, I feel good governance 20 years down the line, yes. Not immediately, because you know why you cannot so change. So 20 the years of opportunity for them to make money. I did not say that. No, I, I said I'm, the change. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I did not say that. I said the change. It has to be very, very slow. Because you know why? You need to understand. The system is the same. The people, 70 to 75 percent of the people who are elected, they are, are the same. So it's not going to be that easy. But the president and the prime minister needs to understand that that change must be brought in. Professionalism must be brought in. There is a delay in that. But yes, there, and there there, is. I'll tell you what, there, I don't know if you noticed, but a lot of uh, society, a lot of Sri Lankans are walking around with raised eyebrows. Do you know why? Because the um, son-in-law of that former governor is buying up loads, of, loads and loads of stuff. And people are sitting back and say, oh my God. And they're raising their eyebrows. That's all I'm saying, right? And if you, if somebody is going to defend, um, uh, defend a rogue, then I don't think one can be honest about defending a rogue. No, I don't think so. You know, you you go lay, lay it down there, and you know, say the way it is. Correct. I totally agree with you. And like Maitri Gunaratna, you need to expose it the way it is. And, you know, hats off to Mr. Gunaratna for saying it the way it really was. And, um, um, well, we look forward to hearing more from Mr. Gunaratna. In the meantime...
Case Lab Guru Sekhar, thank you very much for being on News Lab. Thank you. And uh, we are restricted to one or two so topics only today. Indeed, but that's the nature of. You felt that was important, huh? Indeed. Uh, all very important matters, of course. Of course. And all very uh, matters close to the heart and minds of the people. On that note, that's it from Newsline today. Do take care, have a great day, and God bless.